But if you close your eyes Welcome to Pass It On, a Nice Nation talk show focusing on relevant student and staff conversations and dealing with everyday issues and attempting to bring them into a positive light through ideas, sports, and solution as it relates to the community that's in and around our school. I'm your host, Andre Quattlebaum, also known as Coach Q. My guest today has been teaching for 19 years in uh, Anne Arundel County and is also a graduate of Glen Burnie High School. Uh, she holds a BA and Master's from Peabody Institute of John Hopkins in Music Education and Clarinet Performance. She's been an incredible music teacher and teaching music at every level. There can be. This pleasant and beautiful woman is also currently the Director of Band and Orchestra of North County High School, which has received a superior ratings and awards and are in high demand to perform around the community. Welcome, Ms. Teresa Bank. Thank you. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Glad you're here. So today I asked you here to visit with us to explain the different variations of music. So let's get started. How do students benefit from having a band in school? Well, I don't want to limit it to just band. I want to say music okay. in general. So my current job is to teach band and orchestra students. Okay. But music in school is so important because it's such an important aspect to everyone's lives. Absolutely. Love it. Um, whether we perform, we're listening to it, we're appreciating it, mm -hmm. it's so important. Um, being a part of an ensemble uh, at this level, students have committed pretty much since elementary school for the years of practicing and putting into those performances. Okay. And when we get to this level, um, students are really appreciative of the hard work and the performance aspect that goes into it. Um, everyone in this building us. Right. Music. Touches our soul. It, it does. You it know? does. It's in our lives every day. So I try to make a point to uh, encourage everyone to give music a try. Um, whether it's performing in one of the ensembles that I teach, um, appreciating all genres of music, and in understanding the importance of what it is to be a musician and work on the ability levels up to a performance. Okay. Um, when did you know that you wanted to become a music teacher? Well, let me say, I've always known that I wanted to be a teacher. Okay. Uh, since early on. I remember as a childhood, in my childhood, playing teacher with my friends. Absolutely. And, and enjoying that. Uh, I would say high school, I think, is when I decided that music education is where I wanted to be. I knew I had some really incredible performance opportunities in my high school career that made me lean towards music in my life as a profession okay. um, and giving back to my community because I grew up not far from here and like you said graduated from Glen Burnie High School and had some really incredible experiences that I wanted to give back to students. Okay. Um, how many students would you say are members uh, in the different variation of uh, music groups that you occupy? Um, you know, whether it's ensemble, yeah, yeah, orchestra, yeah, I mean, sure. that you are. So, the marching band, which everyone is familiar with because they see us out um, at sporting events, mm -hmm. um, that, that ensemble is a total of 95 members. Oh. Um, our concert band is 75 members. String orchestra is about 65 members. Okay. And our symphony orchestra is 70, 70 members. So it may seem like a lot, but for a school close to 2,000 students, absolutely, we could have way more. Absolutely. Way more. And I was having a conversation with you the other day, and I said, when I first started, I started five years ago, um, the band was pretty much scarce. You know, you could see, I think they only had like maybe three drummers. Uh, so when they used to perform at the football games, you know, I just thought that from a high school perspective, I was kind of used to seeing a larger band. And I guess you've been here for two years now? Yes. And within that two years of development, uh, we have now a resounding band. Um, and I guess that's based upon your background, how to galvanize and uh, bring those type of thing aspects together. So I would say definitely a uh, great job on your part for doing so. Thank you. Um, 
Do you have some fantastic news that you want to share about your I, uh, bands? I absolutely do. Um, one, um, from the students working so incredibly hard and having such great talent in the building, our symphony orchestra has been invited to play at the Alice Tully Concert Hall at the Lincoln Center in New York City. Outstanding. So March 4th, they will be performing there. Um, huge honor, as we are the only school in the state of Maryland performing at this national event. How does that make you feel? So, oh, I'm incredibly proud of these students. They, they work hard and they know that um, they know they have a long way to go, but hard work does pay off and we are being recognized for it. Okay. Um, tell the viewers something about you that we don't know. And I say clinician and adjudicator. What, okay. what is that? What are you doing with that? So, so that means my job as a music teacher doesn't stop okay. at North County. I go out to other schools, other school systems, listen to um, different ensembles, soloists, small groups, and provide feedback on how to improve. Okay. Um, and that's just another aspect of being a teacher. Um, but I just want students to know here who are not involved in band and orchestra to okay. know that my door is always open and that if they are interested in music, no matter what they play, what they sing, what they do, to come down and share their talent with me. Because we will find a spot for them to perform, to show off their things. Um, as a matter of fact, next Friday, January 20th, we are having our first coffee house event here where we have a number of musical acts okay. performing. Um, it's an evening, it's a low-key, very casual evening um, where small ensembles are performing. We have a rock band performing, we have um, our jazz band will be performing. Um, and it's just, it, it is, involves students that are not my current students enrolled in my classes. Okay. Which is the really cool part. Absolutely. So, um, I would yeah. say this, I would say this that uh, we have several people um, as part of my staff that are into your particular uh, music uh, genre. Um, and they seem very excited to do things with your band and your orchestra. Um, I can definitely say that you are a popular teacher within the building. Uh, I always see kids running down that M hall trying to get towards you and whether they sit down and have small type of conversation with you or just playing and practicing yeah. music and working on their craft. So I would definitely say that's something that you definitely brought to the table and I think kids um, have taken on to you, which is a great thing from an atmospheric aspect Absolutely. inside the school. Um, you've done a tremendous job. Uh, but going back to this uh, New York City thing, I mean, that has to be a tremendous honor. It truly that has is, to be. You know, how do the kids is, feel about that? Oh, they are so excited. Okay. Um, the excitement, yet knowing the task at hand. Okay. Um, I can tell you that when we rehearse, I am so nitpicky on what we are doing, and uh, it, and it's it's blood, sweat, and tears. Absolutely. Um, but in the end, it's going to be amazing to be on that stage with our students and represent North County and our school system and our state. Absolutely. And it's not just a yes. state school system; it's nationwide, and yes. it's actually putting uh, Anne Arundel County on the map. Absolutely. Um, Ms. Bang, it's been a pleasure in actually getting a chance to know you. I'm sure the, uh, the viewers have learned more about the music direction that you're taking to school. Um, I'm sure we're going to get some footage on the symphony and things up in the New York City aspect. Yes. Uh, you're definitely a friend of the show. Anytime you have more information, if there's something that you want to plug and get out, please let pass it on to them. We'll be sure to get that information sure out there sure. for you. So once again, we uh, greatly appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you so much. Thank you again for everything Thank that you, you do for North County. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, our music director, Ms. Teresa Bang, has been doing an outstanding job here at North County High School, and we look forward to hearing more positive information in the near future. Uh, we'll be right back with some uh, quality more guests.